Julius Caesar was born in Rome in 102 BC. His mother was Aurelia Cotta and his father was Gaius Julius. It is claimed that Caesar was named Caesar, which means cut and taken, because he was taken by cutting the abdomen of his mother who died at birth. He is the name father of today's caesarean section procedure. A great statesman, Julius Caesar was also a very famous writer. Caesar mostly took the side of the people in his political behavior and tried to remove the pressure of the Roman nobles on the people. In 80 BC, he was at the court of King Nicomedes for Bithynia as an envoy. During this time, rumors emerged that she and Nicomedes were lovers. These rumors, together with the nickname Queen of Bithynia given to her by her future political rivals, caused Julius Caesar a lot of trouble. Caesar's marriage in 83 BC to Cornelia, daughter of Cornelius Cinna I of the Marian party, brought him closer to the Marian party, and he joined the conflict between Sulla and the Marianists. Caesar was forced to leave Rome. Caesar was able to return to Rome only after Sulla's death. He then went to Rhodes to study oratory under the famous teacher and orator Apollonius Molo, who was also the teacher of Marcus Tullius Cicero. Five years later, he returned to Rome. He threw himself completely into politics and sided with Pompeius. In addition, he tried to win the love of the people with his generosity. Caesar was captured by pirates in the Aegean Sea while sailing to Rhodes. The pirates took Caesar to Antalya and demanded a ransom of 20 talents. Caesar was angry and shouted, Animals, am I a prisoner worth 20 talents? Take a good look at your capture. I will have 50 talents brought to you, and when I get rid of you, you will see, I will have you all hanged. He sent a letter from Antalya to his family in Rome and spent time with the pirates until the money arrived. Caesar did indeed keep his promise. After 38 days of captivity, he was freed when the ransom came. He then went to Miletus, where he procured several ships. He caught the pirates who captured him off the coast of Antalya. He put them all in chains and brought them to Pergamon. The Asian governor's idea was to sell the pirates in the slave market, but Caesar had a very different idea. Without waiting for the governor's order, he crucified all the pirates. In 68 BC, upon Cornelius' death, Caesar married Pompeiae, a young woman with a high standard of living and a wide circle of friends. In 66 BC, he was promoted to praetor, a rank that preceded consulship. During this time, he repaid his debts with the spoils he obtained by suppressing an uprising in western Hispania. He traveled to Rome to get himself elected to the consulship. In 59 BC, he was elected consul together with the conservative Marcus Bibulus. In the same year, he formed the first triumvirate in agreement with Pompeius and Crassus. With a new law, he distributed land to poor citizens and to Pompeius demobilized soldiers. He attracted the officers to his side by donating one-third of the taxes. Finally, within five years he had himself elected governor of Dalmatia, Illyria, northern Italy, and southern France. After having his strong rivals Marcus Tullius Cicero and Cato removed from Rome, he entered Gaul in 58 BC. In eight years, he conquered the whole country from the Rhine to the Pyrenees. 
After the victorious Gallic campaign, Caesar became the most powerful man in Rome thanks to his rich booty and experienced army. The first triumvirate ended in 53 BC when Crassus was assassinated and the relationship between Pompey and Caesar broke down. In 49 BC, when the Senate, under the influence of Pompeius, demanded the demobilization of Caesar's army, Caesar got angry and came to the banks of the Rubico River, which formed the border between Gaul and Italy, with 5,000 soldiers under his command. After a battle with Pompeius, who commanded the Senate army, Caesar's army took control of the whole of Italy. Caesar then followed Pompeius to Greece and defeated him in a battle at Pharphalus in 48 BC. He then went to Egypt. Pompeius was killed in Alexandria by Pompey, the king of Egypt, who wanted to win Caesar's favor. Meanwhile, Caesar, who arrived in Egypt, settled the throne dispute between Cleopatra and her sister in Cleopatra's favor, and then he crossed to Anatolia where he defeated Pharnax, king of Pompus. He announced his victory to the Senate with the famous phrase, I came, I saw, I defeated. Julius Caesar's subsequent victories followed one after another, and in 45 BC he defeated the two sons of Pompeius in Spain. After these successes, Caesar became the sole holder of all authority in the Roman Empire. In addition to the title of ruler, he took the title of emperor, which he passed on to his successors. His dictatorship was extended for 10 years. In February 45 BC, his daughter Tullia died. Caesar could not recover from this shock for the rest of his life. Julius Caesar made very useful reforms for the state by making good use of the powers he gained, he regulated the legal status of the cities of Italy and corrected the administration of the provinces. In the meantime, he eased the laws on debts, granted the people of the provinces the right to become citizens and senators, and enabled the poor to establish colonies in Carthage and Corinth. These measures taken by Julius Caesar severely limited the powers and strength of the Senate. When he became dictator for life in 44 BC, the idea arose that he would establish a monarchist regime instead of republican rule. The aristocrats, who did not want to accept this, prepared an assassination led by Brutus and Cassius. Julius Caesar was assassinated in Rome on March 15, 44 BC at the age of 56 while in the Senate. Seeing Brutus among the assassins, Caesar's last words were not you too, Brutus? The assassins told the people of Rome that Caesar's assassination was a great success. However, the public reaction was not what they expected and they had to leave Rome. The people of Rome did not forgive the assassins. At that time, when it was learned that the Senate had pardoned those who killed Julius Caesar, the people attacked the Senate. The Senate was set on fire. Brutus and Cassius, the two leading Caesar's killers, escaped and fought against the Roman army, but were defeated and both committed suicide. The Roman Empire remained strong for 500 years thanks to Caesar's conquests. The name of Caesar, who built the largest empire of his time, was used synonymously with emperor in Rome. Emperors were called Caesars.